In this quick tip, we're going to take a look at what happens when you open a file that includes takes in a previous version of Cinema 4D, or when you export a file with takes to another file format. And in most cases, it just boils down to this simple rule. Whatever state the document's in when it's saved is the state it's going to be when you open it. So here we have our Friday night football template, and right now it's set up in the state of Eagles versus Bears. And if I just make sure this is saved, and we'll open Cinema 4D Release 16, and I'm going to go ahead and open that file. And of course, you won't have any take information. There's no interface to that. But you can see here that it's in the state of the Eagles versus the Bears. If I go back to Release 17 and I switch this to the Dolphins versus the Cyclone, for instance, and we resave the file, and we move back into R16 and revert to saved. Now it's in the state of the Dolphins versus the Cyclone. So anytime you open R17 files in a previous version, you're just going to see the state that the file was saved in. Now, of course, you will not want to resave over this file in the previous version, or you will lose all of the takes that have been set up in 17. Let's uh, just try that out really quick. I'm going to save incremental. And we'll go back into Cinema 4D Release 17 and open that incremental version. And you can see that now we don't have any take information at all. So you're going to want to be especially careful to avoid that. So we'll jump into our master file. And when it comes to exporting, the principle is basically the same. Whatever state the scene is in, when you choose the export command, is what's going to be exported. Now, of course, what you get out of the export is going to be very dependent on the file format itself. Uh, the one major exception to this is the FBX file format because it has the ability to store multiple scene states within the file format. So if I export this scene as an FBX, and we'll call this Football Friday, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep all of these at their default values and hit OK. And now we'll go ahead and reopen that file, footballfriday.fbx, and default import options. And here you can see that what you get is all of the top level takes are still here. Now, in this case, it doesn't work out very well because we have some espresso that's actually driving this, and that doesn't bake down when the FBX exports. But in general, you can expect that the FBX export will attempt to preserve the takes at the top level of the hierarchy. It can't manage the sub-levels, but uh, you do get the takes in the top level. Now, jumping back to our original file, uh, one last note is if you need to export individual versions of all of these files, what you can do is simply mark the ones that you want to export. And you can go in here and choose to save mark takes with assets. Or you can save all the takes with assets. And there's also the option here to take the current take, whichever take that you currently have active, and create a new document just out of that take. So that is a quick look at how the take system works with prior versions of Cinema 4D and exported files.